see what I see with a lot of the, <clears throat> the women that I work with um, who have been taught to be in a needless, wantless position. You know, they basically see themselves as, um, often they kind of move into this idea that I shouldn't receive, that I shouldn't take in goodness because then it's selfish. And one of the best parts of good intimate sex is to say, I can see you desire me. And it makes sense that you desire me. <laughs> okay, like I feel desirable, yeah. not because I'm just so physically attractive, but because I'm a, I am somebody that would make good sense to want to be close to. Mm -hmm. So that is to say, when we have a healthy version of it, it allows us to receive the desire and the affection and the love and the nurturance that you can receive through a partner sexually and be able to receive it because you think it's a worthy choice and it's not, it's not superficial, it's not superior, it's not arrogant. A lot of us think, well, either you're selfless or you're selfish. Right. I mean it more like, you know, I can see wh why you'd desire me because I'm a good person and I do good things in the world and I'm good to you and I'm a good partner and I have self-respect. And so it makes sense to me that you would desire me. That's just a really important part because if you don't have it, even if your spouse desires you, there's no landing place for that goodness. Mm 